everyone, it's Caitlin and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you three DIY vegan treats that you can make for yourself and maybe your friends for this Halloween. This video is sponsored by Thrive Market, which as you guys know, I team up with on a monthly basis to bring you all some delicious recipe ideas. I personally buy all of my non-perishable groceries from Thrive Market and if you live in the United States and haven't tried it out yet for yourself, be sure to click the link in the description of this video and you can get $60 of free organic groceries from Thrive. And if you're already a member, I'll also have a link for you so you can get a free jar of almond butter as well. Finally, I am so excited to announce that this video is also a collaboration with Cami of Supreme Banana. I've personally been a fan of her channel for years and I love all of her veganized videos, so be sure to check her out. And she's going to be filming a taste test of vegan candy and Halloween treats from Thrive Market. So if you still wanna get festive for the holidays but don't feel like making these recipes, you should definitely go check that video out. But without further ado, let's get to the recipes. So first we're going to be making some witch fingers, which are basically a matcha energy ball. So to start out, we're going to soak some dried fruit in water. So I just used a mix of dates and cranberries, but you can use whatever you have on hand. Just make sure it's the same volume of dried fruit. And while those are soaking, we're going to add some coconut, oats, and almonds into a food processor and just pulse those until they are a fine consistency. Then for our food coloring, we're actually going to be using some matcha powder, some spirulina, and a little bit of cinnamon just to add some flavor. So we can pulse that in, and then after that is all mixed, we can add our dried fruit. And then we're just going to blend everything together until it forms this sort of moist, even though people don't like that word, mixture that you can easily form into balls with your hands. So after you've finished all that, you're just going to transfer into a bowl, and I used about a heaping tablespoon to form my energy bites into sort of fingers. And then for our witch nail, we're going to be using a sliced almond, and I got this pack on Thrive Market. So you can just continue this with the rest of your dough, and then once you have all of your witchy fingers, you're all set. I thought these were pretty realistic and a nice, fun, and healthy way to snack. So next, we're going to be making some mummy brownies. And you guys know that moment when you see that beautiful Pinterest picture and you're like, hey, I can do this. But then you try to do it and it ends up looking something like this. Well, that's what happened, but I know my mistakes and they still taste delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how you can potentially make these mummy brownies. So we're actually going to be making the vegan cosmic brownies that I just posted recently in another video that I did for Thrive Market. So to start out with those, we're just going to soak some dates and then add those to a food processor with some almond butter and a little bit of vanilla extract. We're just going to blend that up until it forms a nice and thick paste. And then for our dry ingredients, we're going to be using some buckwheat flour. And this is a flour that can actually be eaten raw, which is why I used it for this recipe. We're also going to be adding some cacao powder and just stir that together. And then from there, we're just going to add our wet mix to the dry mix and fold it in. Starting out with a fork is probably the easiest. And then once the dough has kind of stuck together, we're going to add in our vegan chocolate chips. And then it's easy just to use your hands and knead the dough the rest of the way. And then once your dough is finished, you're just going to line a bread pan with some parchment paper and press the brownie dough into the pan. And last but not least, we're going to sprinkle some chocolate chips because everything in life is better with a little bit more chocolate, am I right? So then now for our mummy drizzle, I wanted to try to keep things relatively healthy and use coconut butter. And as you can see here, coconut butter is pretty much solid at room temperature, but once you heat it up, as you can see, it gets a lot thinner. And this is actually my mistake. I heated up my coconut butter too much, so it was too runny. However, if you want to make achievable mummy brownies and you don't want to use coconut butter, Thrive Market does have this awesome vanilla frosting that is vegan and you can use this instead. So whether you're using coconut butter or frosting, you're going to use a piping bag or a Ziploc bag will work just as well and you're going to add the mixture into the bag. So to assemble our mummies, most candy eyes are not vegan, so I just made my own using a dab of coconut butter and then I put a vegan chocolate chip in the center to make eyes. So then you're just going to repeat this with the rest of your brownies. And then to make them look like mummies, you're just going to drizzle the coconut butter or frosting 
on top of your brownies and as you can see mine kind of was a little bit too runny so uh yeah but these still taste delicious and hey maybe they look even more spooky now so last but not least we're going to be making some candy corn rice crispy treats and for this recipe, we're going to be using this cool natural food coloring that I found on Thrive Market. It's actually made using a mix of turmeric and another spice. So I was curious to try this out. And for this, it is a powder. So I put it into a small bowl and then probably added about half of a teaspoon of water to it and then just stirred it to combine it and to make sure it was a nice even liquid. So for our Rice Krispie treats, we're going to add some vanilla extract, salt, and almond butter into a bowl, as well as our orange food coloring. Then we're just going to mix all of this together until everything is evenly incorporated. You guys know I had to throw that word in there. And then from there, we're going to add in our vegan marshmallows. And Dandies makes some great vegan marshmallows. You can get these on Thrive Market. And you're going to microwave these at 30 second intervals, stirring in between until the mixture looks something like this. And then at this point, you want to work pretty quickly and you're going to add in some crispy rice cereal. And then you're just going to fold the melted marshmallow mixture in with the Rice Krispie treats. As you can see, it's a little bit hard to do with a spatula. I ended up using my hands actually to work it in there. But once it's done, it should look something like this. And we're just going to add it to a round pan. You can use a pie tin or a cake pan and you're just going to press it in. And this mixture is kind of sticky, so I think the best way to do this is to get a piece of parchment paper and take out your aggression onto the Rice Krispie treats and make sure they're nice and flat. So then from there, I decided to cut mine into eight pieces to make it look like candy corn shapes. And then for here, we're using coconut butter again. As you can see, it's a little bit thicker this time, so I'm just using the white part to decorate the tips. And then for the yellow base, I just added the tiniest pinch of turmeric to my mix, you can't taste it, but it does make it look yellow. And then there you go. You could also do this with vegan frosting as well if you wanted to. All right guys, that is it for this video. If you want, you can let me know in the comments below what your favorite recipe was that I made. But what I really want to know is what you guys are dressing up as for Halloween this year. Personally, I always seem to go for the funny costumes rather than the sexy ones, and I've had quite a number of them. But I'd have to say that my all-time favorite costume idea was when I dressed up as a washing machine for Halloween because that was pretty fun and it looked pretty dang good, I'm not gonna lie. Also, don't forget to check out Cammie's awesome taste test video and the links for Thrive Market if you want to get some awesome deals. And if you are new to my channel and you like what you see here, be sure to click that little button down there to subscribe and see my videos. I post two new ones every single week. Other than that, I hope you all have an awesome rest of your day, whatever time of day it is for you, and I will talk to you later. Bye!